Good morning everybody. This is your do now activity for today. I want you to answer this in your class notebook assignment or on a piece of paper. So your questions are number one, what is the equation for photosynthesis? Number two, which process uses yeast to make alcohol? Number three, which process heats milk to kill bacteria? Number four, which process slows down bacterial growth by removing moisture? And number five, what is meant by sterilization? So can you please pause the video now and answer these five questions and then we'll go through the answers on the next slide. So these are the answers for the do now activity. The answer for number one is carbon dioxide plus water plus sunlight makes glucose and oxygen. Number two, the answer is fermentation. Number three is pasteurization. Number four, there's two answers. So you could have written salting or drying. They both remove moisture. And number five is removing all bacteria. So give yourself a tick for all of the ones you got right. Okay, so today's lesson is all about flame tests. The date today is Dee's mouth, 19 yon hour. The learning objective for today is to identify elements using flame tests and the keywords for today are Bunsen burner, wire loop, flame and metal ions. Flame test is one of the specified practicals for your GCSEs so you have to know the method for it. The basis of flame tests is that different metal ions will produce different flame colours when they are heated. So we use a wire loop and different compounds of metals to observe flame colours. So the method you have to remember to carry out a flame test is step one, dip a clean wire loop into a solid sample of the compound being tested. Step two, put the loop into the edge of the blue flame from a Bunsen burner. And three, observe and record the flame colour produced. So it's important that in step one we have a clean wire loop. We do this because the loop could have residual uh, metal ions from previous flame tests. So we put the wire loop in a naked flame to sterilise and remove all of the bacteria that could be on the loop. And then we get on with our flame test. There will be a video linked in your class book assignment for today to a YouTube video of Mr. Mulroy doing a flame test and showing you what colours the flames go with the different metal ions. So you either can pause this video and go watch the other video now or you can finish this lesson and watch the video after. But it is important that you see how the practical is done and Mr. Moroy does it very well. You can see the colours really well in that video. So these are the results of the flame tests. These are the six metal ions that you need to know. So potassium gives a lilac flame. Lithium gives a red flame. Sodium gives a yellow flame. Sometimes we say golden yellow. Calcium will give a brick red flame. Barium will give an apple green flame and copper will give a green flame. So it's very important that you remember which colour goes with which metal ion. We can use flame tests to identify ions in different compounds and salts. So I would like you to pause this video now and answer review one in your class notebook assignment. Question one is what metal ion is present in a compound that produces an apple green flame and number two what color would be produced from potassium bromide in a flame test i would also like you to answer review two in your class notebook assignment it's an exam question and then once you've finished doing that please can you hand in your assignment thank you